And oh my gosh, it looks so good. What the heck? What is up guys today on the channel? I'm going to be showing you how you can get shaders and blocks fruits and Roblox. So let's get right into the video. Okay, so pretty much what you want to do is in the description, there will be a link to a website with all the downloads. So you want to click on the first download link and then on the link for the first GitHub website, you want to click on the Navita Pro Inspector download and you want to drag the downloaded file or zip file into your desktop. And then from there, you want to right click it, go down to the extract all selection and extract all. And then from there, you can delete the current file. But then from here, from here, is you click on the Navita thing, double click it, and then you'll pop up with this thing. So you want to scroll down to other, you want to click on the Anzel flags, and usually this is set to disallowed. You want to set this to allowed, and then from here, apply application. And then you click out, and it doesn't really matter what you do from here, but you can close out this, and now you want to go to the next download website, which will have this little code. You'll download the zip, and then from here, same as the other one, put it on the desktop, you'll extract it, extract all, and you'll hit extract. And then this one will have all like the shaders and the files and all that stuff. So we'll take this out, put it on desktop, and then we'll from here click on shaders. And so right here, you don't have to do anything with this file just yet. You can really leave this, but go straight on to the third website. From here, we'll get the same, we'll download the code, then we'll extract the file while it's on the desktop. Now this one will take a bit longer because it has a lot of all the shaders and programs and settings and all of that stuff. So from here, you want to click on the file and then you want to click on shaders and then you want to hit control A to control C. What this does is it'll copy all of the files. And then from here, you want to go back over to the second downloaded file and you want to go back into the shader section and you want to hit control V. What this does is it'll put all the shaders, settings, and programs all into it. And then you'll see this replace the file, the Quint Common FXH. This just hit replace this file because that one already exists, but it completely doesn't mess with it. And so now you have all the shaders put into the system and into this file. And then now from here, you want to go down and you want to search the Navita Corporation thing. And now you don't have to have the pain of typing the sound coming back. I'll put this in the description. But from here, copy this from the description, paste it, and then you'll open up this file location. From here, you'll have a file in Anzel if you've already done something with shaders. If you don't, pretty much what you want to do to create if the Anzel file, I'm going to just quickly delete mine, is you want to right click and then right click from new and then you'll click on new folder and then hit continue and then you rename this to Anzel, just A-N-S-E-L. I'll also have this in the description. But then from here, you'll double click it, you'll copy all these files, and you'll just hit Control A, and then you'll hit Control C, and then doing this, same as the last time, you'll copy them all, and you'll go in here and you'll paste them all into this one file. And now you just gotta hit do this for all current items and continue, because it's just trying to load through all the items. Pretty much, what you can do from here is you can delete all the other files, but you gotta keep the Enzel one. And then now from here, the next thing you wanna do is you wanna go into your search, Yet again, and you want to search Roblox. And from doing this, you want to go to the Roblox player. You want to search Roblox player, open file location. And then once you have the open file location, you want to open file location of the Roblox player once again. And then from the Roblox player, you want to go to Roblox player beta. And now with the Roblox player beta, I don't know why, but you have to rename it Aero Truck 2. I don't know why, but you just have to. And then now from here, you can load up the Aero Truck 2 Roblox beta thing. And then from here, you can choose any game you want to play into. And once you load in to the game, you want to click Alt F3. And in doing this, then this little shader icon thing will pop up, which is an Avita game overlay. And then from here, choose, you can, you have three presets, you can do whichever one you want. And there's all these different ones. Pretty much, there's a few possible problems that could evolve when you're doing this. Either you don't have the Navita overlay, or you keep getting a little pop-up that says, A, you can't use this filter or game isn't supported. So to fix the filter, what you want to do, if you don't have the overlay on, is you want to go and search Navita or GeForce. So you pull up the GeForce experience. This should already be downloaded on your device if you have a graphics card. From here, you'll go into the settings, you'll go down to game overlay. And you can turn this on most of the times it's already off especially if you just recently shut down and reset your computer as you turn this on then to turn this on and this little pop-up you hit alt z and when you hit alt z that'll pop up and you can do game filter photo mode you can do instant replays and all that stuff but the other problem that could happen is whenever it says your game is not supported now to fix this problem what you want to do is you want to turn on game overlay if it's off you want to turn it back on and from here you want to reset your computer, reload it. You don't have to go back through any of the steps. You just have to reset your computer, 
reload the Roblox. Remember, you must do it through the Eero Truck 2 folder in your device's applications. And from then, then you can reload it. And then if Alt F3 does not work, then from there, you can just shut down your computer. Or at that point, I don't know why it wouldn't be working. But if it doesn't, talk to me in the comments and I'll work on helping you out with it. But that's pretty much the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't, please subscribe. YouTube likes to remind me that less than 5% of y'all are subscribed. That number's going down and I want to get it back up. But that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching and peace.